welcome to my youtube channel the testing instinct in this video i will be discussing about bruno introduction and installation bruno is a git friendly and offline first open source api client aimed at revolutionizing the status quo represented by tools like postman and insomnia so bruno is created to solve two core issues the first one is collaboration bar Bruno's superpower is collaboration through a live connection to your version control system such as git with Bruno collections are stored directly in a folder on the file system. A plain text markup language Bruno is used to save information about API requests. Bruno has got a superpower which enables us to collaborate to your version control system such as git. So this was made possible by storing the collections directly in a folder on the file system. To do this, uh, Bruno uses a plain text markup language called Bru. So, second important issue which Bruno solves is the data privacy and security part, which is very important. Legacy API clients have moved towards capturing every piece of data they can from your file, that is, personally identifiable information such as name, email to the actual contents of your API request and responses, keys, tokens, etc. So Bruno is a completely offline tool. So there is no concept of a login or account and there is no cloud connection or syncing of the work you do in Bruno. So Bruno will not capture any personal data or contents of your API access, response keys, token, etc. Bruno is a complete offline tool and there is no concept of login involved. So there is no cloud connection. Your data is not going to get stored in a third party cloud service. That's a benefit of Bruno. So here I have given the link for downloading Bruno. So I will be providing this note in the video description. So I have opened this link in my browser already. So this is the link where you can download Bruno based on OS. So I am using Windows. So if you are using Mac and Linux, the instructions are given here. So I am going to download the exe version. There is option to download using Chocolatey, Wingant and Scoop as well. So I am going to download the exe version. I am clicking on this download. So it will be downloading a .exe version of Bruno. I am saving it. Let us wait for the .exe file to get downloaded. The download has been completed. So now I am going to install this one. So I am clicking the .exe version. So 2.0.0 is the version which I have downloaded. So you will be getting a pop-up like this. Click on this more info. There is a run anyway option. Click on that option. Then go get us. The installation is complete. And you can see the Bruno workspace getting opened in my system. So here we will be creating the collections and we will be adding the request all those details will be covered in the upcoming videos in the playlist so i hope this video on bruno's introduction and installation was helpful for everyone if you find this video helpful please consider subscribing the channel please like share and comment on the video thanks for watching and keep learning